Hello, I'm Professor Rad, and today let's talk about exponents. So I wanted to start out with a few different uh, examples of where you might see exponents happening, you know, in the news or in your day to day life. So for example, um, you start out with 18 bacteria cells in a petri dish, and every minute there are six times as many bacteria as there were before. So how many bacteria cells are there going to be after five minutes? So every minute, it like gets multiplied by six. It's six times as many. Or uh, maybe I save $1 this month, and I'm going to double the amount of money that I save each month. So how much money will I need to place into savings one year or 12 months from now? Right? So I put a dollar in today, then I'm going to put in $2 next month, $4 the next month, $8 the next month. So every month I double how much money I'm going to need. Or uh, let's say you're buying something and uh, the cost of a cord is $8 for the first foot of length. And then the price of each subsequent foot is half the cost of the previous foot. So for the first foot, it costs you $4. The next foot is half of that, so $4. The next to that, is, the next one is half of that, so two, and then a dollar and so on. So if we maybe we want to know what the price of the fifth foot of cord is going to be. So all of these examples are using exponents. So let's define what we mean when we say exponents. So an exponential expression indicates that you have repeated multiplication, and it's made up of both a base and an exponent. The base is the number that's being raised to a power, and it's the number that you're going to repeat in the multiplication process. The exponent is the power that the base is being raised to, and that tells you how often the base is gonna be repeated. So for example, um, if I'm doing something where uh, I'm having, like cutting in half the cost of something each time, then the base would be a half. And if I wanted five feet of cord, then I would do one half to the fifth power, or use an exponent of five, to show that we would be multiplying that one half five times. So let's do an example of identifying the base and the exponent in each expression, and then we'll use repeated multiplication to evaluate. So here we have five to the third. The base is like the big number, okay? So in this case, the base is five, and the exponent is the little number up top. So the exponent here is three. And what five to the third means is to take the base and you're gonna multiply the exponent many of them. So we're gonna take three copies of the base and multiply them together. So five times five is 25. And 25 times 5 is going to be 125. So this means that 5 to the third power is 125. Let's try the next one. So we have 3 to the fifth. So the base is the big number, 3. And the exponent, or power, is the little number, in this case, 5. To find three to the fifth, we're gonna take five copies of three and multiply them. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna do a little shortcut here when I go to multiply them. I'm gonna use um, what we'll later find out is the associative property. So I'm going to do a three times three to get nine then I know that three times three is nine again. And then I'm gonna bring down that lonely three off there on the edge. 
Now I know that nine times nine is 81. Bring down that times three. And 81 times three is going to be 243. That's because three times one is three and three times eight is 24. So this means that three to the fifth is 243. All right, let's do this last one that has a decimal base. So the base of this expression is the big number. It's one tenth. And the exponent is the tiny written number, uh, a pi, the four. Once again, we are going to take the uh, base and multiply the exponent many of them. So we're going to start out with 0.1, and I need four of these. So here's the second one, the third, and the fourth. Okay, so once again, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the threes. I'm going to do them two by two. Okay, so let's talk about how we did that, because <laughs> I didn't talk about it out loud, did I? <laughs> um, so, so if I have a tenth times a tenth, remember when you have zeros with your decimal, you can just do the number part. So one times one is one. And then uh, there was a zero here and a zero here. So I took the one, the decimal point on one, and I moved it one for the first zero and two for the second zero. So this will also be 0 0.01. Okay, so now I'm gonna multiply a hundredth times a hundredth. So one times one is still one. And then I've got one, two, three, four zeros. So I'm gonna move this uh, invisible decimal point, left one, two, three, four places, right? So we started here, one, two, three, four. So 0 0.1 to the fourth power is going to be 0 0.0001. All right, so now I have a few problems for you to try. Basically, you're gonna do the same thing. Identify the base and the exponent in each expression and then evaluate the expression um, by writing it out as repeated multiplication. In the next video, we'll talk about how our calculator can figure out exponential expressions for us so we don't have to keep doing all this multiplication. Looking forward to seeing you then, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.